Good, Good morning, morning T-Wolves. I'm Eric. And I'm Wyatt. And this is T-Wolf TV for Thursday, March 31st. This afternoon, we are hosting a large track meet again. We are expecting students from 40 different schools to attend. Because of this, the parking lot will most likely be very busy and congested. Please be aware and take care to leave as soon as you can after school. Academic letter applications are due tomorrow. Visit the counseling website under Academic 411 to find the applications. Submissions go to the person on the application. Congratulations to the Timpanogos Wind Symphony who received superior ratings at the Region Concert Band Festival at Mountain View High School last night. They qualified for State Festival and will be performing there in May. Also congratulations to the Timpanogos Symphonic Band who received superior and excellent ratings at the same festival. There will be a donation box for children's books in the front office for the next two weeks. The books are for an Eagle Project for the Kids on the Move program, an Orem nonprofit benefiting children in need. Please donate today. Please remember to park in student parking only. Student parking is available in the east parking lot, the driving range lot, and the north lot near the greenhouse. Students should not be parking on the yellow curb in front or back of the school during school hours. This area is for visitors to the school and for unloading and loading. The tennis court lot is also not available for students until after 3 p.m. If you park in the spaces that are not student parking, don't be surprised if you find a ticket on your windshield. Also, parking passes are only $5. Today is Thursday and Pride of the Pack Day. Here's Dr. Jensen with today's presentation. Good morning, t -Wells. We are here with our Technology Student Association, and these guys competed, and they did phenomenal. Mrs. Del Chop is going to talk a little bit about what they accomplished. Yeah, so um, TSA is our Technology Student Association, and we went to um, state competition a couple of weeks back, and these guys, I'm so proud of them, they won five first places and two second places in state, so they're, um, they qualify for nationals. So Becky, uh, you, com you took first place in prepared presentation. Tell us just a little bit about what that entails. Um, so we were given a prompt at the beginning of the state conference and we were given a few hours to create a slide, pr online slide deck presentation where we would present it to the judges. Okay, Sean and his team took first in video game design, which was pretty cool. Yes, tell, was. Us, tell us about that, Sean. Well, as the name implies, we planned, designed, and created a video game. Ours this year was a rhythm platformer, sort of in the vein of Mario if it was a rhythm game. So yeah, it was really fun and we worked really hard on it. And they took first place, which is pretty cool. By the way, there's only about 30 kids from our whole district going to the nationals and eight of them are from our school, which is phenomenal. So well done. Catherine is one of our officers in TSA and she won like three different categories. Catherine, tell us just a little bit about uh, TSA and why kids should be involved. Uh, so TSA it has been really great because I've been doing it since junior high and it's a great way to improve your team working and just put your mind to something that you want to get done. Awesome. Anna, tell us about your advisor. What would you say about uh, Mrs. Della Chapa? I really appreciate all her efforts. She's devoted a lot of resources and still is to help um, make sure that we're all succeeding in this competition and I'd like to thank her for all her efforts. Yes, thank you. I think she could be making probably triple actually coding and <laughs> doing a computer job, uh, but she chooses to teach and she does a phenomenal job. Uh, guys, get involved. This is, these are great CTE clubs and uh, get involved. There's so many things to do. I think Becky's in multiple. I think Becky's going to like three national conferences this year because she, she's won in a bunch of different uh, areas. But uh, great day to be a T Wolf. Thanks for representing us so, guy so well. You guys, uh, you're the best. Good luck to our spring sports teams this afternoon. Track and field hosts the Alpha Invitational here. Softball plays Uinta here. Boys soccer travels to Alta. Boys Tennis takes on Tint View here, and Boys Lacrosse heads north to Lehigh. Good luck to all of you. For T Wolf TV, I'm Eric. And I'm Wyatt. And remember, T Wolves, we love you all. Body like a weapon, like a figure eight, when I'm doing my